I'm in a gym in Tokyo, and you can see what appears to be ordinary strength training. But a closer look shows some really unusual movement. This training method is based on the latest science, and with two years to go into the Olympics, research on how to effectively exercise muscles is advancing in Japan. Exercising muscles isn't only for athletes and people seeking better health. Researchers have found that working muscles can also help treat or prevent a wide range of illnesses. We'll take an in-depth look at the little-known roles muscles play in supporting good health. Japan is a world leader in cutting-edge medical technology and healthcare services. Join us as we explore Medical Frontiers. This hospital uses strength exercise even for patients who aren't well enough to do slow training. Hiroyuki Suzuki developed a tear in his aorta. Three operations saved his life. He's been bedridden for three and a half months and has lost 15 kilograms. I never thought I'd be so thin. It makes me sad. <laughs> I'm ready. He's been undergoing rehabilitation using a walking device, but he still can't walk on his own. For two weeks, he's been doing a type of exercise developed in Japan called kaatsu, or pressure training. The aim is to help him quickly regain strength in his legs. The beauty of kaatsu training is that even people whose muscles have grown weak due to hospitalization can do it. The main tools are belts that are wrapped around the upper legs and arms. Then they're tightened to add pressure. This provides light resistance during the exercises. Here, Suzuki does leg lifts with the lightest weight of three kilograms. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. That's a uh, level twelve or so. Suzuki tells the trainer how intense the exercises feel using a numeric scale. Experts say maintaining a level of between 12 and 14 provides the most benefit. Trainers take into account these values and the patient's heart rate when creating exercise routines. I'm getting better. At first, I couldn't do 30. A specialized trainer is always present, so it's safe, even for patients with heart problems. During regular exercise, the lactic acid that's generated enters the veins and circulates through the body. The belts used in kaatsu training put pressure on the upper legs and arms, restricting blood flow. This causes lactic acid and other substances to accumulate in the muscles over a short period of time. In turn, that triggers the release of compounds like growth factors that help build muscle. With this method, even the elderly and people with a weak heart can increase their muscle mass relatively quickly through light exercise. Medical professionals around Japan are starting to take advantage of katsu therapy. When the pressure is released, it feels great. Once it's gone, I can feel blood rushing in. Measurements from Suzuki's first day of katsu training show the quadricep muscles on the front of his thighs were 1.1 centimeters thick. Two weeks later, they had increased to 1.4 centimeters. 
With traditional methods, the improvement was more gradual and took longer. But with kaatsu, muscles grow in a short period of time, like one to two weeks. In fact, this patient's muscles increased by 30 percent. That's a big achievement. Patients who gain muscle mass quickly see an improvement in their physical abilities, so they can be discharged earlier. Quality of life improves, too. For instance, if you can climb stairs without much effort or struggle, instead of huffing and puffing, your quality of life is definitely better. And you feel more energetic, too. With more muscles, you can live longer. That's true especially for people with heart disease or lung problems. After I began kaatsu training, my condition got better. I started using a walking device, and I could walk a longer distance from one day to the next. I really feel that my rehabilitation has made excellent progress. Professor, moving on to CARTS training or pressure training, mm -hmm. with pressure training you're limiting blood flow. Mm -hmm. Is it suitable for people, for example, with weak hearts or compromised hearts? Mm -hmm. It could be a little risky, or it may work really well. So you need to consult with specialists and let them decide whether it's okay to try it or not. One thing about katsu training, though, is that applying pressure on the muscles reduces stress on the heart, so blood pressure tends to go down. That's right. I think there are more studies showing that, rather than increasing, blood pressure decreases during katsu training. And when you're done exercising and remove the belts, blood circulation improves quite a bit through peripheral vessels activating blood flow throughout the body. That, I think, is a plus.